Good morning, students. Let's continue our lecture. Yesterday, I told you that we are going to see about now the folk dances of Gujarat. Now, which are they? Some of you you already know it. You have participated in at different times. Okay, so let's see folk dances of Gujarat. We are on page fifteen. There are varied dance forms belonging to different communities of Gujarat. These dance forms are according to the traditions and customs. These dance forms are according to traditions and customs. I wanted to underline these traditions and customs. Okay, as per the culture, the custom of the state. Right now we are talking about Gujarat. Among them are tribal and folk dances. garba rasa and many more folk dances such art of dance can be seen at the time of festivals marriages and fairs students when is this form of dance been seen such art of dance can be seen at the time of festivals marriages and fairs now which festivals festivals in gujarat as well as as well as marriages and the fairs that is the time they do dance you know students when there is a happy occasion we put music we like to celebrate and so this is the time when they dance now the tribal dance let's see about the tribal dance look at the picture students see the costume that they are wearing the type of clothes that they are wearing on their head in their neck also here this fellow okay the instruments that they have in their hand that is typical typical of the tribals and they also have a different dance now tribal dance of gujarat tribal dance of gujarat is seen at the time of festivals marriages fairs and to please the god goddesses now when do you see this type of dance during the time of festivals marriages and fairs and why do they do it they do it in order to please god and goddesses most of the dances are performed by forming a circle along with various traditional musical instruments like drum traditional manjira dholak with songs in regional languages so students over here what is that most of the dances have been performed by forming a circle okay with the traditional musical instruments that's why i told you look at the instrument that they are having with the traditional musical instruments and what type of instruments do you use students drum traditional manjira dholak and with songs in their regional language students if you go to south gujarat in the dang district you will see that the people of dang they have their different language okay so there are dangs in dang there are different tribals i mean the different culture they have even in dang district itself they are also called as gamit and their language is different we may not understand fully because it is little bit different than what we speak in our uh, everyday language that is gujarati so it is little different than gujarati but it is neither pure form of gujarati neither marathi it is something mixture of that and so students the regional language their songs are in their languages whatever whichever region whichever area they stay as for that then students in the dance form known as chalo characters imitate different bird creatures like different birds and that creatures like peacock squirrel and sparrow so students what is that form of dance called i want you to understand the chalo now in the chalo what do they uh, what type of creatures that they imitate peacock squirrel and sparrow dance like malino chalo and thakurio chalo are seen in dang see student just now i was telling you something about dang okay so which dances have been seen in dang district malino chalo and thakurio chalo okay you may not know exactly which dance form of this whereas tipani dance of laborers sharmahi performed by bil and koli communities dancers perform dance in group 
on the set of thick sticks which are joined with small sticks stuck to the ground come over here students underline that tippani dance over here tippani dance of laborers performed by whom students by bhil and koli communities and how do they dance they perform in a group with a set of thick sticks which are joined with small sticks and stuck to the ground so that is about the tribal dance that is about the tribal dance of dang district people now let's see our garba let's see gujarati garba how is it and what is the speciality of garba the word garba is derived from the word garbadeep underline that garbadeep the word garba is derived from the word garbadeep it will be asked in the mcq so fill in the blanks earthen lamp is placed in a hold earthen pot dancers keep it on their head and move around in circle garbas are performed during navratri festivals now students nothing new to you garba has been performed during Nav navratri time okay nine days of navratri and you know it how do you perform you are in the circle garbas are performed during navratri festivals underline that navratri fe festivals and what is kept on the head students earthen lamp is placed in a whole earthen pot pot made of clay okay and dancers keep it on their head and move around in circle then in hindu month in hindu month the month is asosud ekam to asosud navmi or somewhere up to dasam or on sharad punam in all part of gujarat so the people dance in all part of gujarat you know the atmosphere during that time everywhere we get to hear a lot of music lot of joy celebration and you are being seen only in your garba dresses gujarati people perform and sing garba to worship and pray adya shakti that is goddess of power to goddess of power they pray and what is that they pray to adya shakti mother jagadamba underline so some of you call as ambe mata over here mother jagadamba and for what did do they pray they pray to the goddess of power adya shakti underline that word adya shakti generally it is performed in the open ground encircling to the mandvi kept in the center of the ground along with underline strokes of hands and beats of drums so students strokes of hands and beats of drums and what is kept in the center mandvi underline that mandvi is kept in the center so that is about garba then what is rasa then rasa or ras is a dance ras is a dance to be performed in circle along with singing uh, in garba you have that earthen lamp on the head you dance in the circle but there is in garba in a rasa it is performed in a circle along with singing there is a story that lord krishna has shown rasa lila to devotee okay to devotee that is, that is a bhakta and what is the name of the devotee narsiha mehta underline that make a bracket and underline that rasa lila to devotee narsiha mehta rasa or ras is mostly performed in gujarat during navratri students turn the page i suppose it is clear to you and uh, we saw that we were seeing the sentence that uh, ras is mostly performed in gujarat during navratri and janmashtami festival navratri and janmashtami festival underline that navratri and janmashtami janmashtami festival is which one students we have satam atham the celebration of lord krishna's birth dandiya rasa is one of its type dandiya you call it okay you have the stick in your hand and you dance but some people perform rasa by placing earthen pot on the head some of them they dance with the earthen pot on their head due to increasing influence of vaishnav sect underline that vaishnav sect over here underline that vaishnav sect 
Rasa has become more popular now due to the Vaishnav sect. What has become more popular? Rasa has become more popular. Women wear traditional dresses like embroidered chaniya choli, and men wear embroidered kediya dhoti when they perform the play called Rasa. So, students. Here they have mentioned the type of clothing, the costume that they wear. Women wear embroidered chaniya choli, whether as a man wear kediya and dhoti. Okay. Now, let's see which are the other dances of Gujarat. You can be, uh, you will be asked in the exam. It can be uh, two types of questions for three marks. Either they will ask you the famous dances of Gujarat, or maybe uh, give the information about garba garbi of Gujarat, or. Describe the tribal dances of Gujarat. Describe the tribal dances of Gujarat. Then you have to write everything. This also you will have to write plus what we saw in the on the previous page. That is about the tribal dance as well as garba, rasa, and all this. Now let's see about this. Gof Gunthan dance. Are you with me, students? Gof Gunthan dance. It's it is performed on drum beats and tal, underline that, and layer of music, tying rope with mandapa, pillar, tree, and holding the other end in the hand. So students, uh, it is performed on the drum beats, and they tie the rope with mandapa, pillar, tree, and holding the other end in the hand. They perform dance in group, holding the rope in one hand and dandiya in the other hand. So the rope and the dandiya is hold in their hand. They make creeper like formation, going one inside and other coming outside. See students, the way they dance, they form like a creeper and one goes inside, the other comes outside. This is repeatedly done forming a circle. This is done repeatedly by forming a circle. This way they make and open the gunthan, that is a plate, in short like how you take also the plate of the hair. This style of dance is called Gof Gunthan dance. Suppose you are asked for the one mark, write about Gof Gunthan dance. So what do you understand about Gof Gunthan dance? You will have to mention about this that it is done on the perform on the drum beats with tal laya of the music. They tie the uh, rope with mandapa, pillar, tree. One goes inside, other comes outside. It is done in the circle. And so students, that is how this is called as a Gof Gunthan dance. Then, Dhamal dance of Siddhis. Dhamal dance of Siddhis. Now what is this about? Siddhis presently residing in Jampur village. Underline, where are they residing right now? Residing in Jampur village. In the center of Gir. Originally belong to Africa. Students, they are originally from where? They belong to Africa performs this dance. So the people, those who are in Jampur village, which is in the center of Gir, who belong to the Africa, okay, they perform this particular dance. And what is the name of the dance? Dhamal dance. They perform dance by rhythmically striking mashira. What is mashira? Coconut shell containing earthen lamp inside, covered with a cloth. You will have to also underline this, what is in the bracket, because if this Sentence is given means what they will ask you means in the MCQs they will ask so you will have to write Mashira now wearing peacock feathers and holding small drums in hands performing a circle okay students so what do they have they have the peacock they wear the peacock feathers and they hold the drums in their hand and it is also performed in the circle. See students, so far whichever dance we saw, Gop Gunthan, your Raj, your Garba, they all are performed in the circle. Remember this, this is the style of Gujarat. Do not forget that. And so, they dance with high and low pitch, intonation of ho-ho sound. Intonation of ho-ho sound. So underline that ho-ho sound. Then come, which echoes in the whole forest. So students, why forest? Because these people are staying where? In the center of Gir forest. Gir is a forest we know. Asiatic lions are famous over there. The world famous big forest, Asiatic. Okay, Gir forest. And so the voice, 
the intonation, the high and low intonation of the sound, ho ho, it echoes in the whole forest. They dance in a group imitating the voice of animals and birds. Students, what is that? They dance imitating the voice of animals and birds. We saw students in the tribal dance about the dance district. We saw that they also dance like Malino Chelo and then uh, they also have after that they perform some characters like uh, squirrel, peacock, some creatures and they try to imitate them. Over here these people are trying to imitate the voice of the animals and birds. Remember this which uh, students these are the Dhamal, Dhamal dance people of Siddhi. They are right now in Jampur village. Okay. From, they belong to originally Africa. Let's see the next, the third one. Merayo dance, Pedhar dance and Kali and Mer dance. This type of dance is seen near the steppe well of Banaskantha region. Make a bracket. Students, which type of people were in Banaskantha region? Steppe well, will, uh, step well. Okay. So, underline that. Near uh, this is a Banaskantha region near Stepwell. Now, Stepwell, what is the Stepwell? We will be studying in the next chapter about the Stepwell. Toran is woven with the tall grass of reed and junjuri. Toran is woven. The toran is made woven into, it is entangled. Okay, woven, it is weaved, uh, they weave, they weave it, it is woven with the tall grass of reed and junjari. This dance is performed on drum beats and sword sticks. So students, what do they have in their hand? It is performed with the what students? Drum beats and sword tricks. With the sword. Underline that students. The type of dance is called as Merayo dance. So when they have the sword in their hand, they dance on the drum beats. And what is that? The toran is woven with tall grass and reed of reed and tall grass of reed and junjuri. So this particular dance is called as Merayo dance. Then in Surendra Nagar region, look here, in Surendra Nagar region, the people of Pedhar community, underlined Pedhar community, dance with tal and laya of dandiya and manjira. Underline that dandiya and manjira. Okay. While dancing, they generate while dancing, they generate scenes like sea waves or like a ship moving on the sea waves. So students, what do they try to show? While dancing, they try to generate the scene like sea waves. You know how are the waves of the sea, how they go, okay? So the waves of the sea or like a ship moving on the sea waves. That is of the people of Pedhar community. That is of the people of Pedhar community in Surendra Nagar region, whether as we saw about the people, the Merayo dance, those who are in the step well, uh, near step well in Banaskanta region, they have a different dance. People that is about those who came from, those who belong to Africa, okay, their dance is called as the Siddhis, the Mal dance of Siddhis, okay, you have to remember. Now let's see about the Kolis, Kolis of Saurashtra. Saurashtra is students, our region. Okay, Kolis of Saurashtra perform Koli dance, holding Madharisyo, Madrasyo, okay, on head and the head gear that is turban, decorated with embroidery and mirrors tied with green color embroidered belt. Make a bracket students, Kolis, okay, Madrasyo on head and head gear till, uh, till student embroidered with uh, embroidered belt. Okay, now, what is again? They wear bed on their waist to perform dance. They wear bed on their waist. They tie it. Similarly, male dance of Saurashtra and other dancers of Bharwar tribe are well known. So students, just like the Koli dance, the, just like the Koli dance, how they perform, like this, which other dance? They, they wear the bed and like this, male dance of Saurashtra and other dancers of Bharwar tribe. We know also the Bharwat community students. We see them around us as we belong to Saurashtra region. Okay. So students, what is that? The speciality of Koli dance? They are of Saurashtra. And this dance is just as like the mare dance. 
as well as the bharwad dance so come to the last paragraph as we discussed in the previous chapter here also we find here also we find that indian culture is universal assimilated all assimilating all it is assimilating it is bringing all together as a result of arrival of various tribes since ancient time of time to contemporary one since ancient time to contemporary one from the time before till today contemporary one many changes occurred like growth and development of handicraft home artistry underlying this handicraft home artistry painting dancing and various other fine arts this shows rich and varied heritage of india and it leaves permanent impression of india on the horizon of world okay so students it has left the permanent impression of india on the whole world and students what is that our culture our heritage students here we are finishing this chapter i won't be sending you the short questions today instead i request you to complete the exercises of the textbooks all the exercises of the textbook now students in case any question is repeated in the board work when i have sent you the board work then you need not write that question second time okay otherwise all these question answers you have to complete in your fair book we shall see we, i will meet you tomorrow have a good day